All right. So let's call this full adder uh, module full underscore bit underscore adder. So this is the adder, the, the full adder that we made, and it it has two outputs. So in the first in the first case, you see the output in, in your case are uh, S0 and C1, right? So, so it is imp always important to uh, to close this uh, previous simulation, right? So when, whenever you are going to simulate the next module, once you close it, uh, only then you will be able to simulate the next one. Otherwise, you will get this error, right? So, Right, so, so the output is S1, in fact S0 and C1 for this first module as you can see here uh, and the inputs are C0, A0 and B0. So C0 is 0, so we will write 0 here. So A0, B0 and 0, right. You can you can also define a C naught equal to zero first, and then you can use C naught here, right? Or you can define C naught equal to zero on the test bench. So it's it's, it's up to you, right? So uh, in fact, let us let us define a C naught, and maybe we we maybe this way we avoid an error. So this not might not be uh, the right way. Okay, so C0, so uh, now you call another full adder and this time, this in the next full adder, so the inputs are A1, B1 and C1 and the output, uh, output is S1 and C2. So you write A1, B1 and C1, so C1 is the output from this particular uh, adder. So, so by giving input C1 here, it means we are actually connecting these two full adders, right? And so the output here is C2 and S1. And now let's make, let's call another, this model another time. So I'm, uh, I'm not specifying this label. It is very important that you spe specify label for each instance of these uh, modules. So let's let's specify n1 here and n2 here and n3 here. So do not make this uh, mistake. So and again you specify another label n4. So okay. So in n3 or so the third uh, uh, third full adder, uh, you have the inputs c a2, b2, and c2. And the outputs are S2 and C2. So A2, B2, and C2. And so outputs are C3 and S2. Similarly, here you, your inputs are A3, B3, and C3, and Output is C4 and S, right? Okay, so this is it. This is how uh, we make a full adder using uh, four uh, a four-bit full adder using four uh, full adders, right? So I guess I think this is not a full bit adder. This is a full adder. Uh, I think, yeah. So we made a mistake here. I think this is full adder. So then the module that we made was full adder, not full bit adder. So the name of the module is full adder. So I made this mi mistake and I am I have corrected it, right? So now you save this module, okay? And now click on this four bit module and run this behavioral check. Uh, again, you see this is perfectly fine, no errors. So now you need to write a, full, uh, a test bench for this.
So again, click on the new source. Uh, now click on this option of Verilog text fixture and you write this TB underscore four bit uh, adder and click next and you select this four bit adder module because you want to test this this particular module so now you click finish so, so we have uh, about eight inputs so we want to add two four bit numbers so one of those four bit numbers is a naught uh, a1 a2 and a3 and the other is b naught b1 b2 and b3 so uh, so the inputs and outputs are already defined and specified uh, okay. so first it is important that you specify c0 is equal to 0 because that is the impact uh, okay so c0 is equal to 0 but we can only specify uh, the inputs and outputs in, in, in this test bench so let's go back and define c0 as an input because uh, we have I guess we have defined it as uh, uh, so we have defined it I guess we have defined it as a wire so this is a mistake I think we have made so let's go back and let's uh, define this as an input so let's define this as an input as c0 so this c0 and right so now i guess this is this is going to work fine uh, let's uh, simulate it it's fine and uh, now let's go back to its uh, test bench and here specify c0 is equal to 0 because in order to perform addition we need to specify this input carry as 0 and now you, sp you specify the number so let's let the first number be one zero zero one. So one zero zero one and the second number B zero uh, one one uh, in fact zero triple one. So we want to add these two numbers 0 1 0 0 1 and 0 triple 1 yeah so b0 is the last bit right so it's the least significant bit and b3 is the most significant bit right so this is how it works so I've, i should place b3 here and so just for us to make sense of it, right? So it should be B1, and this should be B0. So it is now 0, 1, 1, and in this case, again, it should be A3. Uh, so this is just for us to make sense of it, the number, right? So uh, you can you can uh, define it the other way as well. As well. Right, so now this test bench is ready and uh, let's save it. So we want to add these two numbers and uh, so let's first run its behavioral check. So it has some errors. So C0 is not declared, right? So C0 should be declared here. So because we changed uh, the module later, first we uh, so we went back and changed the module so we need to specify the change here as well right so now i guess this is uh, fine it should be fine and it should 